Frank, let's put the tape and rewind. Frank destroys Noguera. He destroys him. Noguera says, I have a staff infection. Whatever that means, I have a staff infection is so irrelevant. That's like saying I just got a haircut. It means nothing. So he says, let's do it again. And like a true gangster, Frank Mir says, okay. Noguera calls in sick. I don't have a problem with him calling in sick. What I have a problem with is that he called in sick two months in advance. Is there anyone watching this video today that can call in sick two months in advance? 60 days prior to the job needing to be done, you just declare I'm not going to feel good that day? I mean, how did that work? Did he have like some bad chicken one night and he goes, oh, I'm going to pay for that in about 60 days. I better call Joe Silva. How does that work? Is he no Guerra? Is he no Guerra Damas? I, I, I don't get it. He's like predicting the future. It was a chicken move. It was a scumbag thing to do. And it was par for the course. So, you know, look, he's going to get destroyed. So they make a phone call to Croatia. Uh, hey, get, get your checkered shorts ready. We need you to come fall down a few times in front of Frank Mir. They could dress Crow Cop up like Noguera. They could go to a Halloween store and get him a Noguera costume. It's in the Frankenstein aisle. The actual fight, listen, Frank Mir is a multiple-time world champion in a real organization, the UFC. Crow Cop, Crow Cop and Vandalay Silva are the only two guys to ever headline UFCs with the most atrocious records in the UFC. Crow Cop and Vandalay are these anomalies. They, they sell out, they've got a ton of fans, and they're atrociously bad records. So, I mean, how's it go? Look, you got Frank Mir, multiple time world champion. What are you, what, what are you gonna put on Crow Cop's side? He won some fights in Japan when nobody cared about and a company that went under? This isn't rocket science. Uh, does he get submitted? Boy, that's a good question. You know, Frank's using those hands lately. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I think he's gonna, near gonna beat Krokop in the, in, the, in the ground. Maybe going to the ground to give the, 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 the leg log. Frank Mir has all the tools and, and you know, the knowledge and I think it's gonna be a, a good matchup for him, for Mir. Uh, Bader, who's a really good fighter, taking on a guy who's in the UFC because he looks just like a really good fighter. So, um, Bader's gonna beat him up. No, Noguera's a tough guy, he goes hard. At the end of the day, that's really just me being nice. Bader's gonna beat him up. In the middle of Toro and Beer, I think it's a real interesting fight because the winner is gonna fight with John Jones and the winner is gonna fight with Shogun. I think in Minotoro, his experience gonna 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 talk him more. But the, his opponent, Beer, is so strong. He's he's a, he's, a, he's a good name. I think it's a real tough fight for Minotoro, but I think Minotoro gonna win the decision. Joe Dirksen has been one of those guys that's been really good for a really long time. Uh, he's a lot like my last comment. You know, people might walk by him and not know what a great fighter he is. When, when Jeremy Horn was on a terror, uh, Jeremy Horn was ranked number one in the world in front of Anderson, in front of, me, in front of everybody, number one. Uh, he would always say, Joe Dirksen, Joe Dirksen, this is the guy. Joe, trust me, I work out with him. This is Joe Dirksen, top five in the world. And he was. Dirksen's beat some really good guys, but he ran into a couple of speed bumps in the octagon. And um, you just, you can't make your mistakes in the octagon. And unfortunately he did, and he, he hasn't resurfaced for a while, and he's back. Uh, I love that fight. I'm excited to watch him compete. I think it's one of the better matches on the card. Best fight of the night, right there. Shirk and Dunham, it's not being promoted. It should be, be being promoted. Shirk, former world champion, Dunham undefeated. I believe he's at 11-0 now. He might be 12-0 by now. Uh, Dunham will look like he's the weaker of the two opponents, but he's got this weird leverage. He's a very long guy. Um, I, don't, I don't think strength is gonna be the factor. I think Shirk is a little more experienced. Shirk's got a lot of stuff in his favor, but Sean Shirk could not control um, uh, Tyson Griffin the way Evan Dunham did. N nobody ever has, including Frankie Edgar. You could ask me who was going to win fights, bet the opposite, and do real well for yourself. I'm really bad. Drives my mother crazy. Yeah. You should know more about this. I'm really bad at it. But look, Frank Mir's really good. There's just no way to deny that. Frankenstein Isle. I said that. Oh, yes, I did. 
Oh no, he didn't. Oh yes, I did.